I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Monticello, which is President Thomas Jefferson's plantation in Charlottesville, Virginia. We take one finger in the center at the top and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. Now this is what we call Palladian or neoclassical architecture. So we're going to do mostly straight lines like here, straight line across, little straight line up, connect, little straight line out, little straight line down, little straight line across, up, connect. One more, little straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, in, connect. Come right back to the dot and we're going to draw one, two, three curved lines. And usually whatever we draw on the right, we're going to draw the same thing on the left. As an example, straight line, straight line, straight line down, connect, little skinny rectangle on top. Come over to the left, straight line straight line, straight line, connect, little skinny rectangle on top. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a curved line in on the left, come back to the right, curved line in on the right. Right here at this point we draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect, jump over, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Right here we are going to draw straight line across, connect. Right here in the center we draw a curved line, straight line, connect. On the left hand side we draw an oval, jump over on the right hand side we draw an oval. Inside this space on the right, curve line, curve line, curve line, down, connect. Come back in, draw it again. Crossing, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Whatever we do on the right, we're going to do on the left. Starting over here, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now come back in, Cross it, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now, there's a lot of drawing on this, but hopefully, or I should say, luckily, there's not too much coloring. So, the drawing is the tough part. Straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal down, connect, jump over, straight diagonal, straight line across, straight diagonal, connect. All right, right here in the center we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, straight line over, straight diagonal up, connect. We're going to repeat it, straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Inside, big curved line, straight line, connect. Now, Let's talk about these. These are windows. So we're going to put a little curved line. One, two, three, four straight lines come up above. Little curved line. One, two, three, four. If you need more lines to fill it up, go for it. Now, on the ovals, straight line down. One, two, three. Straight line down. One, two, three. All right. 
Now, we come over here on the right, we draw a little straight line over. Straight line up, connect. Come over on this side, we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Inside, straight line across, inside, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, cross it again. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Right here on the end, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Whatever we do on the right, we're going to come over here and do it on the left. So we're going to extend this line, straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, connect, inside, straight line inside curve line curve line curve line connect bring it down curve line cross it curve line curve line connect all right come straight down right about here we're going to draw triangle connect straight line straight line straight line connect Big straight line down, big straight line down, big straight line down on the left, big straight line down on the right, connect the two, come inside and we're going to draw straight line, straight line, connect, jump over, straight line, straight line, connect, inside little straight lines on the left little straight lines on the right okay now we're going to fit curve line straight line curve line and leave it floating come on the right curve line straight line curve line and leave it floating come back up curve line straight line curve line connect come on the right Curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Draw a skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line on the left, skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line on the right. If you have room, another column comes in here. Curve line, straight line, curve line, and I'm going to connect it to that. Come back up, curve line, straight line connect. Come on the right, curve line, straight line, connect. Curve line, straight line down, curve line, connect. These get little straight lines going all the way up on the left, all the way up on the right. We'll talk about what all this stuff is. Now, right here, we're going to connect all of these spaces and then come back out and draw a straight line straight line up connect straight line straight line up connect if you have a little bit of space on the left and the right just connect now this is the only time where things are different over here on the left i am going to draw a straight line to the edge of my paper, off the paper, jump over, straight line on the right, off the paper. Bring this line down on the right, bring this line down on the left. Here's the difference. Straight line, curve line, straight line down, connect. And now we're going to do skinny rectangle skinny rectangle trapezoid on top straight line cur uh, straight line diagonal connect and then if you can straight lines across and we'll talk about this straight line in the center I don't know if I can make it fit okay now jump over and we have another set Let's put a straight line down on this side, straight line down on that side. 
inside we're going to put rectangle straight diagonal straight line straight diagonal those are like upside down trapezoids rectangle another trapezoid and rectangle another trapezoid okay now these also get straight line in the center little straight lines across straight line in the center little straight lines across straight line in the center little straight lines across now if you have room just do a wavy line on the left and a wavy line all the way over on the right I think that's all oops sorry forgot something come over here on the left straight line out curve line curve line cross and cross we'll talk about these architectural details in just a minute okay I think that's all but you know me I never know until we start coloring let's see how we are going to color this in okay the first thing I'm going to do is take my regular green and color this space all the way across on my bottom space of my drawing jump over green all the way across then just to give a little bit more color I take my yellow green and I colored the top part yellow green just to add a little bit of color there's not a lot of color on this okay all right now I have I think this is mahogany if you don't have mahogany you can use regular brown but now I'm going to talk to you about all these architectural details this space on the right this space on the left this space on the right this space on the left and this space on the right and I just found one more thing that I need to draw I should have followed my own directions straight line straight line straight line connect because these are chimneys for fireplaces because that's what heated up the building and this is all brick work everything is brick okay and this is a plantation so even though Thomas Jefferson was the author of the Declaration of Independence and a founding father he also owned enslaved peoples so this was really a plantation in the south so all of this is also mahogany because it's all red brick now the center point is this dome right up here now he Jefferson decided that he was going to design his own space and he did and he had a very European aesthetic meaning he liked that look so while everybody in the early let's see this started in 1772 everybody else was living in wood cabins and wood wooden homes he made his whole house out of red brick and in a Palladian style which is very European so every place that I'm coloring brown is really red brick and everything else he left white okay so all of this is red brick the dome on top is white this whole thing in here this is all open 
like um, fencing and this this down here is also brick so it's very different from what everybody else <coughs> excuse me had going on in this time period then with my blue I'm just gonna draw some blue lines because this really doesn't have very much color Monticello a real standout now it's a, it's a national park oh and this is an archway and put a little bit of blue in there and that went to his gardens which could be a whole other lesson okay let's see what this looks like all colored in Okay, here is Monticello, all colored in. Monticello stands for Italian Little Mountain, okay? Uh, it took 40 years, they kept building and building, and it is a showpiece in Virginia, Charlottesville, Virginia. Okay, bye-bye.